Hi, everyone. So excited to see everyone here at our Supplefull webinar. And uh, we're so thrilled to have you. This is great to finally see you guys face to face. We've been working on Supplefull for what seems like forever. And it's amazing to connect in person to the people that are uh, making use of the tool that we've been building. So super excited for this. Uh, my name is Julia. Uh, to introduce my, myself, uh, I'm the host of this event. Uh, and I am joined by my co-host, Wallace. Uh, hi, Wallace. Um, and so quickly about me, uh, I myself um, am a communications and marketing specialist. And probably the most noteworthy part of my own background was uh, that I was part of the founding team of Printful, which is possibly the world's leading um, print-on-demand dropshipping platform. Um, so laid the foundations for all of that service, building it up. Uh, for those who don't know Printful, it's like Supplefull, but for t-shirts, apparel, uh, all kinds of things. Um, and yeah, and so now, now I'm helping build Supplefull and I couldn't be more excited because this is a great product, uh, making new products available to everyone, to people like you. And one thing I wanted to touch on is that this totally isn't just supplements. And, uh, you know, supplements are a big part of it and pro probably a big part of why you're here. But another aspect is uh, wellness and superfoods, um, edible nutrition, and personally, my favorite, coffee. So uh, I think a lot of people often forget that, that this uh, is actually a much wider uh, profile of a product. So before we get into uh, the main program today, which is uh, Wallace's Mindset to Success portion, <laughs> yeah, pointing to that mind there. Um, so first of all, I, I want to know where you guys are from. So, I mean, if you guys could all comment in, into the under the chat i see wallace has already commented in that he is hailing to you from prague in the czech republic so where are you guys all at right now oh justin's from san francisco diane's from boulder colorado malta all right scandinavia denmark wow this is awesome um atlanta georgia a real international bunch warsaw poland Denver, Colorado. Awesome. Um, it's so cool to see you guys here. Uh, I'm myself personally, am based in Riga, Latvia right now. I am Canadian, uh, but uh, this is where the Supplepool's main office is. Uh, so, um, hi. <laughs> uh, right, so uh, this is super cool. Um, and one thing that I would be remiss not to mention while I've got you all here is to let you know about Supplefull's latest major feature. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, uh, but it's the uh, the new label editor. And uh, the label editor that makes essentially it possible to order a sample immediately with your own branding on it. So uh, if it's okay with you guys, I'm going to share my screen and like show you how it works really, really quickly, like quick and dirty. Oh no, host disabled participant screen sharing. I think someone needs to make me a host again. Uh, that's okay, we can do that later on. But one thing I do want to mention is that make sure to stick around to the very end because we will be announcing uh, prizes for everyone who will have stuck around to the end. Um, but I do think that I have the chance to share. So here we go. Let's give this a try. So I have shared my browser uh, and you guys should be seeing the supple, Suppleful catalog right now, right? Uh, Wallace, back me up on that. Yep, got it. All right, so let's go to my favorite product, which is coffee. And waiting for that to upload. Okay, I'm gonna go with selected blend number one. And so just real quick and dirty, we're gonna go click customize and sell. I just wanna slap my own logo on it. 
Um, and here, this is where we do the customization. It's uh, step one. And here we have the three options. And the first option, the Canva editor, editor, that's like, that is the spot. That's where you want to click. I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me uh, direct to Canva. So I'm going to, yeah, say that, yes, we're going to use that template. And I don't know if you guys have used Canva before, but it's um, like essentially a drag and drop editor. So you can change whatever you want. You can change the name, the, the visuals. So I'm going to delete this stuff. I'm just clicking on it and clicking um, delete or backspace. Um, and then I'm going to go to my uploads and I have my own company's logo saved here from previous times. And just drop that in, center it up and all right. And I'm essentially, I'm happy with it. Oh, okay. Love coffee. And essentially you can, you know, type, drag and drop, type around, whatever you want. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm going to download it. I'll make sure to download it to PDF quality because this is going to be printed. So it needs, you know, the best resolution. So that's being saved. I'm going to save that. And then we're going to go back to my Subliful page, upload image. And oh, Upload image, upload the label. Yeah, here we go. This is where we upload the PDF. Submit. And one thing I do want to mention, if anyone has any questions along the way, please feel free to comment them into the chat. This is what we're here for. Uh, all right. Oh, and then we go up and see, there we go. That's my product. And it is. it has my branding on it. Uh, when I'm happy with it, I can click uh, order samples. And then that way you can go straight to, um, straight to getting your hands on a sample product. Uh, and the price is this price that you see here. This is the base price uh, that only you have to pay to get the product itself, which is, by the way, uh, like a wholesale price. Subliful has negotiated the lowest possible prices so that you can put your profit on top of that. I would probably sell this um, for probably around $12, $13 uh, minimum. So you've got a good 50% uh, percentage uh, profit there. Anyway, so yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to show you guys, uh, just how <laughs> absurdly easily you can now put your own design onto a label and order yourself some samples. So- Julia. Yes. We had a question. Yes. Delaware is asking, where does the best before date have to be placed? Uh, well, um, good question. Where does it have to be placed? That's a very good question. I do not know the answer to that, but. Suppliful says our fulfillment operator will do it for you. There we go. It's automated for you. Yeah, all uh, clear. Thank you. Thank you for the, to the Suppliful team that's online here. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, that's enough for me from now. So remember, stick around. We've got uh, news prizes at the end. Uh, and uh, Wallace, over to you. Cool. It is, I'm tell you what, guys, I'm so stoked to be here. I have a secret to share with you. One question. Is it possible to add some flyers on the order as discounts promotions? Okay. Back office. Take a look at that question from Javier. We'll get back to you with an answer. Flyers on the order. Uh, I don't know the answer off the top of my head. I think at the moment there, it, there isn't a possibility to add inserts, but I would imagine that down the line, that would be an additional service. Um, but probably I think the, the, the main point here, Julia, is we've got to listen to these folks because uh, that's why I'm so excited to be here. Um, let me just say hi, everybody. Greetings from Prague in the Czech Republic. My name's Wallace. I'm an American. Uh, I'm a startup coach in Europe, and I'm also an angel investor in Suppliful. Um, and I invested in Suppliful because I believe in creators. The creator's economy is a shift in democratization, 
It's an opportunity for every single person on the planet to participate in the retailing of high quality goods, to earn a, a substantial living, doing what you love, promoting yourself as a brand. And that's what we're dedicated to. Um, another backstory, I'm heading to San Francisco in about three weeks for mega fundraising. Uh, because we want to build out the product to make it as automated as possible so that uh, in the future, when we have really great products coming into the pipeline from suppliers, that we're, we're going to be able to take the branding that you've already done on your previous products, reformulate it and show you when new products come in so that you can see what a new product would look like so that with a single click, you can automate that product and make it ready to go. We have huge plans for taking the pain out of running the business side of your drop shipping business. So I'll be in San Francisco and LA, end of March, beginning of April, hopefully coming back with a few million euros so we can get better supplies, push automation and make your lives a whole lot easier. Before I go any, any deeper though, I want to ask, uh, ask a few questions. If you have already launched a product on Suppleful, can you please just click and raise a hand or put something in the chat? I'm real curious. We've got like 20 plus people. Is there a contact number for later contact from Madvi? Back uh, office. Let us know. While everyone is giving their thumbs up, uh, I see Jacob has already probes launched a product um our customer care team is available uh, at help at supplefold.com um oh three so far for jc dude oh, nice sorry <laughs> put in the chat which ones have you launched and how are they doing yeah what products we want to know um yeah so all of the customer support currently is done through email or through the chat function on the website uh for, as far as i'm aware there isn't a phone number but uh, the team is nearly 24 hour uh, around the clock support. Uh, and um, yeah, and you can follow along with your orders and see how they've been delivered, where they've been delivered. You can get your tracking numbers all on your product dashboard. Uh, so you'll be able to spot any discrepancies early on. And then if there are any issues, then contact customer care directly, which is help at supplefull.com. So Jason has been selling the immunity booster. D3, the BCAAs. Nice, Diana. She's also launched five right products this week. Amazing. Amazing. Another question for you. Keep those coming in. Who's launched Super Greens Food, Fips? Awesome. Um, God, this is so amazing. Um, so next question. We, When we were doing the research around Supplefull, vitamin D, zinc, garlic, probiotics, awesome. Amazing. We, we, we had to make some inference about the pain that you guys feel in running your business. So you could really help us kind of validate our hypothesis. You know, in this innovation game and startup game, it all starts with solving a problem. And we built Suppleful because our understanding of your problem is that as creators, your preference would be to focus on like the promotion side of the business and not have to deal with the back office and the, and the uh, product assortment and all of that. But the reality is we won't really know if we're doing the right things until we hear it from you. So if some of you could just type in and let us know, what is it that you like value in, in the suppleful value proposition? That'll be really helpful to us. So when we go raise venture capital, that uh, we, we can say we're, you know, we're talking to uh, our actual users. Wallace, tell us in real people words, what is value proposition? Ah, okay. So let me back up. I'm a startup uh, coach and a mentor. So this is my everyday vocabulary. So when I'm working with startup founders to launch their businesses, we're talking about... Uh, marketplace innovations, AI companies, I mean, you name it, space tech companies, I meet them on a monthly basis. The first thing we do as entrepreneurs is we need to solve uh, a need in the marketplace. For businesses, usually we want to solve a problem. 
for consumers, we want to meet a need. And uh, so the value proposition is what is the value of the product that you're offering to the customer and how does it enhance their life in some way? Um, you know, in the case of promoting and selling supplements, I imagine, and here I am, I'm, I'm trying to walk in your shoes as the drop shipper, that what you're doing is you're promoting yourself and your own personal brand by shooting videos on TikTok, demonstrating the use of the product. Um, I think of one of our, one of our uh, drop shippers who was promoting the bee pollen product. Julie, I'm not even sure if we still offer that one because it was really limited uh, supply. I think it's but still available. It's still available. Yeah. So we had this one really amazing drop shipper who was a fitness, a fitness guy, and he's standing on the balcony on a holiday in Miami. And all he's doing is he's making a cool video on TikTok, and he demonstrates the bee pollen product, and he takes a swallow, and he shows his muscles, and he points to the link uh, in his feed and the guy's selling like mad. So the way we imagine this service works is you with your promotion, you're also simultaneously promoting your personal brand and building that through this launching of your own private supplements brand. So while as before, I, we've had some responses about value propositions. So we have Jason saying that, uh, uh, making the label creation um, process easier is paramount, really liking that process. And then we have Justin saying that having worked with a manufacturer, he can honestly say that it's been long and hard getting the right, right price for the right products shipped to the right people. Okay. Uh, thing too, and dealing with Amazon is even worse in many cases. Okay. So I feel like we're, we've really hit on a nerve here. <laughs> great, great to hear that because uh, Amazon does about 80% of the world's supplements go through the Amazon platform. We have, as the investor and as a startup team, we have another hypothesis about uh, you guys, and that is that dealing with Amazon is a pain in the butt, and that if we can eliminate all that pain, that we can take some market share from them and make drop shipping that Supplefull is like the primary channel for, for drop shipping. How many of you have done DTC on Amazon? If you can just drop in a message on the chat, that would be great. DTC being direct to consumer. Direct to pay. consumer products, yes. Have you, sold, have you tried selling anything on Amazon? Yeah, that's the general question. Oh, Justin's doing DTC on Amazon. Justin is, okay. Um, Justin, where, where are you, Justin? That. Can you tell us? Justin told us at the very beginning, yeah. San Francisco. He's in San Francisco, okay. Uh, another question for the Justins and the Delawares and the Modvies. you're the only ones I see in my screen at the moment. Are you, how long have you been drop shipping? Is this a new endeavor for you, Delwar? I see you. What's going on, mate? He's typing. Awesome. Okay, let me talk instead. I think it's Yeah, better. let's hear your voice. Yeah. Great to hear you. So basically what we are doing now, it's me and my partner, Mohammed. Hey, Mohammed. Uh, we, have our, we have our own brand in uh, Denmark. Uh, we are selling whey protein at the moment. Okay. And uh, we are looking to scale our business and then we fill over subly full and we could see that we could launch a lot of products uh, relatively quickly than doing the other way around where you have to have um, some huge uh, minimum order quantities and all that. So okay. that's a problem that subly full uh, truly help us with. Fantastic feedback. Great. MOQs yeah. for, MOQs, for everyone, exactly. the minimum order quantity. We yeah. see that as, as part of our value proposition. Just so it you is, know definitely. how it works for us. Um, based on what we see in our channel with creators like you, yeah. we take that information and we map that to our supply chain to try and optimize. I mean, we're, we're early stakes still with Supplifull. We've only been in business for about five, six months. Yes, so exactly. over time, we see that the deeper we're able to build our relationship with our creator audience the more we'll be able to automate this process and bring you better quality, again, with the no MOQs. Thanks for that, Delawar. Yes, Delawar. Um, so we have Diana beautiful. also saying that for them, a big part of selecting which supplements to launch and market depends on the profit margin and if they can compete with the price of other supplements on the market, especially Amazon. Okay, that's a good question too, for, for you know, that I'm, I'm curious about as well. How important is price 
for drop shippers. In terms of your value proposition, are you looking at yourself as a discount DTC, like it's direct, therefore it's cheaper than going to the traditional channels? Delaware, what are you saying there? Uh, actually, of course, for the for the end customer, I think the price is pretty important. And I also think that uh, we need to give them a fair price. But at the same time, uh, we can't, uh, we also need, need to deliver a product of value. So we have to just like see it, uh, the price versus the quality, the value. Yeah. So it has to be a price that the customer is willing to pay. Yeah. And it also has to make sense for us as uh, entrepreneurs to make some profits uh, from the products. So Got that's it. the balance yeah. we have to find. Um, yeah. My, so, I don't know why my camera doesn't work, but Di hi, I'm Diana. Um, hi, Diana. Yeah, so for us, like a, we, there was, it didn't make sense for us to launch the, like a, the vegan protein powder because of the com competition on Amazon, the price, like the profit margin that we could have, it would have been too small of a profit margin compared to what was available on Amazon. Um, so for some products, we have encountered that. So Diana, that, that really pulls me down a rabbit hole because I'm imagining that as you're promoting your products to your audiences as a, as you know, kind of a social media influencer who also has DTC, are you guys social media influencers with community and are you personally promoting the products or are you building the storefront and the products and then using Facebook ads? We are influencers and we have a big community and we are selling to our community. And okay. we are, we just started. So this, like we finally have our, have our Shopify store up and running and we're going to start um, selling to them like next this week or next week. Okay. Fantastic. You know, again, I'm reminded of the stories that we're starting to hear from our creator community. Um, we had one guy who launched one of the, Julia, remind me what it was. It was one of these uh, hangover powders, I think. And he, he, you know, you set your own price as a creator and he put just an insane price on like an eight euro product and sold it. And the reason was, is because his audience saw that this product was coming from him as an influencer. And so this is part of what we're imagining this value proposition is for all of you creators is if you're promoting your personal brand and if you notice, you know, it's, I don't know, in Germany right now, it's, it's foshing, it's the, the, the carnival season. So people are going to be out and they're going to be partying. So for somebody who's out and promoting, knowing that people are out there having a good time tomorrow morning, you're going to need a headache. You know, you're going to need a drink for that headache then they're playing around with the price. And in that case, there is this disparity, this disconnect from Amazon pricing and you. And I would encourage the, you know, that you as a community, you take into consideration context, timing, and your brand when you set your price. Because our mission is to empower creators to create to earn the money that you desire without all the hassle and the headaches. And the dynamics of this channel are extremely unique. So, you know, you're going to have over time the opportunity to play around with pricing and promotion. Remember, this channel and your promotion of these products, this is uncharted territory. You are not a commodity. As an influencer and as a creator, you put your brand on there, it's got to represent you. It's on us to make sure that everything in the pipeline is the highest possible quality um, and even brand stories. So we're, we're talking right now with suppliers of things like high quality turmeric that is grown in um, Costa Rica that is also... Uh, being produced in a way that's helping to restore the uh, rainforests. So I just want to let you all know that this is early game so far in Supplifil. You're basically our beta cohort. Yeah. Wallace, I want to quickly interrupt you right now. We have a hand raised by Javier and I, I see your Javier. question in the chat and I actually just got an answer for you. So, but you can take the floor. 
Hi, yes. Um, I have one question. Um, I mean, the, the pricing for, for me, I mean, it's some, like it's around the competition. But for example, when I look into it, um, I, I, I have been doing dropshipping already. Um, but um, may, like, mm, how, how can I explain it? Like, for my point of view, I wanted to do the protein. I want to go into, into the protein uh, like yes. designs, and I have done a lot of labels for it already. But being honest, like, um, because there is only like, like very few flavors. Like it's very difficult to do to launch a line of products because you know for the store to be like uh, populated, it have to have like I have to have like BCAA or like different supplements, you know, but let's say I want to do a protein store. So yeah. I only put chocolate. And I mean, I'm not, I, I, mainly I do the traffic through email marketing and yeah. Facebook. And for the Facebook, like point of view for the, for the people, I mean, if I create a product that people is going to consume and, and really like buy, like buy a lot. I mean, if I only have one protein, okay, it's going to be like, it's a, because, you know, in, in this point, I'm creating a brand. So if it's only one thing, it's like, it's very, I don't know how to explain if you understand. No, but that's amazing feedback. You're, you're basically telling me that when we launch a singular product, we need to think about the variation so that the creators can not just launch a single product, but they can launch a portfolio of similar products because people's needs will be different. Some people like chocolate, some people like cricket powder, some people want pea, pea you know, pea protein. Yeah. We'll definitely pass, pass this on, make sure that we can get more flavors for you. But to answer your question in the chat about which address shows up on the from area on the packaging, on the outside of the packaging that your customer receives, uh, that is um, your address. So you can uh, upload your business address um, in your dashboard. And then that is the address that will show up on the outside of the packaging. And then also uh, in the labels, you should also add uh, your own business name as the fulfillment and manufacturer. Okay, super. And one, just one more question. Um, if I buy, if I want to buy, let's say like 50 proteins, like it, is there a way to have the, let's say like to, to sell it to local businesses, you know, like down, down here in where volume. it's possible or no? In volume, yeah. you mean? Yeah, or yeah, or just, 50 to one address only. Yeah. yeah, so you can um, make a manual order. So when you go to your products, your pro my products page, uh, you have the option to make a manual order or a, a sample order. Choose manual order and select however many uh, item quantities you want, and then you can get that quantity delivered to you. And then you can decide how to dispatch it uh, up, up to yourself. Yeah. Julia, question. Are we going to get cut off in one minute? Because I know we only had a 30-minute call. I don't know, actually. Let me just say this before it happens. If we do get cut off, everybody come back, all right? Yeah. And we'll keep this going. Yeah, and Diana says that she also unfortunately has to go. But one thing she would love to see in the future is being able to customize and create their own supplement formulas. Yeah, we're on that. Yeah, that sounds great. We're on that. That's more complex for us as a startup, but that's definitely on our roadmap. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. Diana. Thanks, Diana. See you soon. Uh, all right. And then we have William saying, I have a Shopify store selling fitness apparel and I want to integrate your line of data products in my shop. Any idea how to do such? I'm not entirely sure, William, what you mean by data products. Uh, if you can specify that. You can turn your mic on, yeah. William. Be great to hear your voice. I got one question just again. I'm, I'm watching the time and I'm afraid we're going to get cut off. We're thinking, right, there's William. William, let's, let's hear it. Yes, no, I meant, I meant just your line of products. How are you doing, everybody? Good. You know, in, in my, my, my products with, with my apparel uh, line. Well, definitely, uh, if you're doing sports, you know, putting nutritional products, uh, performance enhancers is going to be a, a natural fit. Uh, would, would it be like a, like a link or, or create another store in Shopify and put them together? Ah, that's the question. Product. How do you integrate products into an existing uh, shop? Yeah. I mean, how, do I, how can I introduce my, your line with, with, uh, in, on my store? 
I would recommend creating a new collection uh, under your Shopify store. So maybe a separate tab, separate product category, and then launch a few supplemental products under that category so that you have your apparel category of, of content. And then you also have um, the edible wellness category of content. So I think that's done through either catalog uh, collections or uh, yeah, product categories in Shopify. Mm. I would like to have, I mean, some type of the tutorial because you know how to do this. <laughs> we'll note that down. We'll get you a, tu a tutorial. William, I'm going to give you a sneak preview oh, and everybody and else. That's exactly how he's doing it as well. So it's working out. It, it's uh, working for Jason. So William, that sounds like a good way to do it, that. Delaware is asking if it's possible to get the product bottles in black instead of white. That's a great uh, idea. I don't know the answer to that, but um, we'll talk. I made a note, Julia, that we need to look at giving creators more choices in terms of packaging. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hey, Ruben from Atlanta. Uh, if a supplement has multiple benefits and purposes, can we create multiple products promoting those various purposes using the one supplement? Yeah, you sure can. Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, you can do that just by changing the name of the product, like the multi-use product, or if you want the same product and sell it under the same different label, then you could have that as, uh, you know, if you have your greens powder, um, which is the su uh, supplemental product, then you can, you know, market one separate product as, I don't know, whatever one function and have the exact same products connected also marketed as the other function. I think that should be technically possible. I think we need to be mindful. One thing though, Julia, is that as a drop shipper, you need to be careful about overextending or over-exaggerating benefits. We actually had one of our drop shippers was making some false claims and we had to cut them off. And there's a story right now in Australia that the Australian government is going to start more severely regulating supplements and the way they're being promoted by social, by social media influencers. So your honesty is part of your brand and we would encourage you to do that. Second thing I wanna mention is William was saying, this is not so easy. In our roadmap creators, we're gonna build for you a creator, uh, a creator, um, what do we call it, Julia? Academy, a creator academy. Our vision is to be able to offer the, the service to show our community how to use the tool and how to use, you know, all the benefits of social media marketing and SEO and, and others to really help you refine your craft and make it more inclusive so that we can get more people into this, uh, you know, into the benefits of living your life. What's mm -hmm. the estimated delivery time in Europe? Yeah, I've got the support team finding the answer for that. Uh, I mean, it's not any longer than in the States. We have a fulfillment center in Europe. We have a fulfillment uh, center in, in Denver in the States. So uh, similar. Uh, I, I got my order the next day, but uh, I don't know about other countries in Europe. Yeah. So uh I'll have that answer for you soon, Delaware. Yeah. yeah. What else do we have? I closed my Shopify store because I was not sure how to do the drop shipping. Aha, uh -huh. that's Madvi. We see you, oh. Madvi. We see your hand on the, on, the, on the camera. Julia, you wanna jump in? Yeah, so this is, the, the drop shipping itself is what's automated with Supplesful and what's taken care of. So when you connect your store to Shopify, that's when the orders automatically come into uh, Shopify or Supplyful and we automatically send them out to your client. So what you do is you go to uh, your Supplyful account, you go to stores, and then you click connect store. And then you log into your Shopify account. Uh, it will give you a prompt that pops up and says, uh, it sends you to the Supplyful app for uh, Shopify. Uh, you download the app. Uh, you follow the prompts that essentially says like accept, yes, install, uh, and then it, and then it's connected. So it's super simple. But the first stop is your Supplyful account and going to the stores section. And yeah, and we've got the comments from Supplyful uh, about the delivery times in, in Europe, two to five business days. Two to five. Easy. Hey, Julia, 
I'm afraid we're going to get cut off at 45. This is Zoom, right? Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and announce what we've got for You're our right. creator community oh before we okay. get cut? So everyone who has stayed this long um, at by the end, at the end of this webinar, you are going to get an email. We're going to do it, Phillips. Uh, the yes. email is going to have a type a type form survey. Uh, fill it out with your biggest challenge, and you will be given um, store credits, uh, so supplemental credits, and you will be able to order uh, samples on us or any other orders. So um, it's a thank you to you guys for coming and talking to us and sharing your experiences uh, and also celebrating our uh, new label making feature to, to make ordering samples that much easier. And I've got another question for our creator community. Um, should we do this more often? Because we, we've been thinking about, yeah, Delaware says yes. We've been thinking that this is about you guys and you guys have a lot to teach each other. So we were thinking, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I see a bunch of yeses popping up. We were thinking about question. like making some regular office hours or something or making these touch points more regular. We literally want to get to know you. We want to understand your business. You can help us and we can help you. Together, we're, gonna, we're dedicated to empowering you. Madvi says yes. Okay, Madvi's got a question. I want to know if I close my store, that will I get the credit? Use the credit. Well, if you closed your Shopify store, that doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you can't order on Supplyful. So anyone can order anything on Supplyful. You don't have to be connected to a store. So go mm -hmm. through the process that I demonstrated at the very beginning. You mm -hmm. find the product that you want to order. Okay. Click customize and sell, upload yeah. your label, and then click order sample. And then at the, at the checkout, your credit will be applied. Okay. All right. Thanks, Delwar. Yeah, I think networking and community, you yeah. know, creators helping creators. Uh, we, we, we're, we're putting all this on the roadmap. And as soon as we get some good VC in, we're going to get the best products for you. And together, we're going we're gonna to make Supplyful, you know, this, the creator Supplyful connection, a really successful long-term business uh, business model discord yeah. group julia she and i were just talking about opening exactly. a discord group yeah it will be launched mm -hmm. soon we launch shortly uh ruben we are going to be introducing a wix integration in time not right now mm -hmm. uh but uh soon um so make sure that you're following us on social platforms and we'll send out newsletters to everyone when that stuff's going to be available so uh Okay, I got another question, unless we've got a question from community. Um, please oh, integrate with WooCommerce yeah. as well. We'll note that down too. <laughs> what is the best mechanism for us to listen to the voice of our creator community? Is it Discord? Is it another channel? How can we hear your voice more regularly so it helps us to build the product to meet your needs best? I'm open to suggestions. Okay, Madvi says it. How about Square Squarespace integration? With time. Yeah, William's saying Slack. Discord is very similar. Madvi, Discord. jump in. Um, Zoom calls more often. Feedback. Okay. We get, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. You know, one thing we we also rely on our community to tell us is. What do you want to sell? And what does your audience want to buy? So somehow we need to figure out how to make that communication better. So our sourcing and your needs are somehow meeting somewhere. We're going to be thinking about this. You know, this is our inaugural connection with, uh, with the creator community. So, you know, this is MVP communication and, and community building. We're going to be working on this behind the scenes to streamline this. Facebook groups, Zoom meetings. Question, Facebook group, is that the right channel? Because if that's public, is this a private conversation or are there we are, there are having this in the public domain? Facebook groups, which are, in theory, they could be made private. Uh, okay. 
Private would probably be better. I, I think so too. Yeah. You know what? Behind the scenes, we're working together to meet the market's needs and demand. Closed face part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's a I great like, idea. I like Facebook because it's a little more personal than Discord. Discord seems like anyone could be and, and messages get lost in Discord. Although I know people love Discord. I don't want to count it out. And that might be the way to go. But I, I like Facebook groups because they're a little more personal. Okay. Right, is that Bart that. speaking? That's Fitz. Sorry, this is, this is oh, what oh, I don't know what my Zoom says from your guys' Zen, but. I don't see Bart. the, I need to look at the gallery <laughs> and with the speaker. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're about to be cut off here. Cut off. Um, High school teacher trying to grow my side business. That's great. Cesar. Yeah. Another question. Can you put into the uh, chat real quick before we get cut off? If this is a side hustle, what is your day job? <laughs> so we've already got a high school teacher. Best, yeah, best spark and fit that com. Yeah. That's your brand. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. goldfit.dk that delaware your goldfit oh that's a nice brand it's like gold's gym goldfit sweet contracting specialist army contracting command wow oh jason where are you located and we can go back denver okay yeah, there's a lot of lot of stuff in uh, in uh, Colorado, Colorado Springs Air Force Academy and whatnot. I, IT administration day job, Westland Nutrition this data is analyst. Cool. This is a side gig. Restaurateur, Funmi. I love the variety. The variety. Any uh, any fitness or training uh, folks out there who look to sell supplements to your clients? Yes, Delwar. Uh -huh. Yeah, we we've been running around this. Is this product for professionals or is it for drop shippers? And the answer is yes. Yeah, I also love the suggestion about considering protein bars. That's yeah. really fun. Yeah, that's that's big time. What about fitness centers? Any of you have relationships with fitness centers and look to do some more volume deals by putting, I don't know, maybe go to the fitness center, recommend to build their brand, Delwar? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, at the moment, we already have our products at uh, a couple of gyms and also nutrition centers. Uh, so that's definitely something we are looking to do as well with Subliful. And I don't know, is, is it a possibility to do that also in larger quantities? Uh, I think that's why we're here, right? Is to figure this right. out. Nice. And, nice. Uh, you know, if you've got a gym, a fitness chain, and that fitness mm -hmm. chain, and you approach them and say, hey, I can build your brand. You know, so you can promote you can promote your brand, but you could just as easily promote a product for their channel. And basically, you're kind of the middleman between Suppleful and the supply chain and that then you can hit some volume deals. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I'm exactly. just yeah, thinking yeah. out of the out of the box yeah, here. We have Cesar uh, sharing that uh, they've had a gym order 500 units that they okay. can for them. Uh, we also have a recommendation from Jason saying that gummies seem to be really hot right now. So more gummy yeah, yeah. products. Love it. We, we have an AI partner who looks at market data. And I, uh, I was chatting with them not too long ago. And the one thing he was telling me is that gummies are just hot right now. So everybody should, should have their own gummy line. So Wallace, I'm thinking, should we be wrapping up? Probably, probably. Man, it's been fast and it's been furious. How many people do we have on the call? Just checking 27 people. You know what? It's just the beginning, folks. We are just getting started. Um, I can't wait to see you all again. And, um, you know, we're going to be bringing you innovations and, and helping to build this community. And together we can do amazing things. This is all about empowering you. Thanks, everyone. So That's much. why we exist. Yeah, really All excited right. for you guys too. Ruben, I love it too. I'm very excited. <laughs> Delwar, yeah. thank you, brother. Delwar, yeah. thank you guys, man. Yeah, Desar, look forward to see you again. Ruben, Rehards, Jason, Alde.
Amazing. Okay, I'll see y'all soon then.